Hello there, good evening. Welcome to Look North. A disability rights campaigner says he felt like an extra burden after he couldn't board his chosen train home. Doug Pawley, he uses a wheelchair, was trying to get a Northern Line service from Chesterfield but was unable to after a pillar blocked access to the train's ramp. Well, staff told Doug that they couldn't move the train forward to gain access and that he'd have to wait for the next one. Doug joins me now. Doug, what is the process here? Because my understanding is, as a wheelchair user, you call in advance, someone will meet you at the station, they put a ramp on and off you go. Yes, that's right. They like you to book in advance, although you don't have to. Um, yeah, somebody at the station will put down a ramp when the train comes in, or the guard will, and you just wheel on and the train sets off with you on it, you know. But not on this occasion, so what happened? The, there's only one door on the train that you can get on in a wheelchair because the, that's where the wheelchair space and the accessible toilet is. And the train stopped with that door, unfortunately, directly opposite a pillar for the roof of the station. And there wasn't enough space at the bottom for me to manoeuvre my way onto it. Um, and he, the guard just picked up the ramp and closed the doors and drove off and I was left behind. Everybody else got on apart from me. And how did you feel to be told, sorry, not this one? I guess I felt a kind of weary um, lack of surprise. It happened so much to me and to other disabled people, this sort of thing, that it, you know, it, it's, it's not anything new. It's sad and it's frustrating. Um, and it's an extra delay on what was already a, a disrupted journey. But at the end of the day, this sort of thing happens all the time. But it shouldn't, should it? And that is infuriating for mm. any commuter to not be able to get a train on time. But for the train to be there and told, I'm sorry, your wheelchair just can't get past. Yeah. That when, isn't right. When everybody else can get on, it is a bit frustrating. And when it could have taken not that much extra work of moving the train slightly so that I could get on. I know that there's um, some admin involved in signalling and such like, but it could, have, it could have been done, but wasn't, which is very sad and frustrating. Now, as you said, this hasn't happened before, but you, it has happened before, but you've been surprised by the response to this particular story, haven't you? Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so I tweeted a brief video of this happening, um, but it's, as I say, it's nothing unusual for me but it somehow caught the public imagination. 2.1 million people viewed it, and a lot of people commented on it. Um, so it, it appears to have got a bit of kind of publicity, which is unusual. Um, I guess it's good in that it might cause some change, maybe minorly. And, and very briefly, have Northern Rail had anything to say? Yeah, they've, they've, they're embarrassed about it and apologetic, and I think that they, you know, they're looking into it, and hopefully we'll stop it happening again. Well, let's hope your story certainly has stopped it happening again. Doug, thank you for joining us and just very briefly a statement from Northern did say they apologised to Mr Paul for Mr Paul's experience they would usually arrange for the train to shunt forward in order to resolve the problem but they're now investigating why this did not happen thanks Sophie just gone 6 30 you're watching East Midlands today in other news tonight, a wheelchair user was left stranded at Chesterfield Station after a platform pillar prevented him from using the ramp to board his train. Doug Pawley was trying to get on the northern service from Chesterfield to Leeds, but he couldn't squeeze his electric chair through the gap that they'd left for him. Northern have since apologised for Mr Pawley's experience and are investigating why the staff failed to shunt the train forward a bit to allow more space to use that ramp. Because the um, staff on the train didn't think or didn't want to move the train slightly to allow me on, I was left behind. And this is not an infrequent thing. It happens to me quite a lot. This and similar incidents um, just leaves me feeling weary and sad, really. Well, in a statement, Northern said, we're sorry for Mr Pawley's experience and are in contact with him directly. Some stations on our network feature columns to support the canopy overhead due to the age of the station. Whilst services are designed to stop at positions on the platform free from such obstructions, they can sometimes be slightly out of line.